Hey, Kung Fu Masters in training to celebrate the release of Kung Fu Panda 3. Today, we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, and expected true <gasps> facts about ancient China. Number five, one of the most important holidays in both ancient and modern China, Chinese New Year. Also referred to as the Spring Festival, the Chinese New Year is separate from the traditional January 1st New Year celebrated around the world and has been observed for almost 4,000 years. The festival begins on the second new moon after the winter solstice, which is the shortest day of the year. Holiday traditions vary widely throughout China, but most include a family reunion dinner the night before and a thorough house cleaning to help sweep away any ill fortune to make way for good luck. Windows and doors are often decorated with red paper cutouts and poems, and some people light firecrackers or give money in red paper envelopes because red is a color traditionally associated with luck in Chinese culture. Each year, over a billion people board planes, trains, boats, buses, and automobiles to go see loved ones, making it the world's largest annual human migration. Each year of the Chinese calendar is represented by one of 12 animals. They're the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Chinese New Year in 2016 will start the Year of the Monkeys. The Chinese traditionally believe that every person turns one year older on the New Year, which means it's considered to be everyone's birthday. And that's way too much cake going around. I'll just take one slice. Or three. Number four, ancient China's most memorable landmark, the Great Wall of China. It's definitely a myth that astronauts can see the Great Wall from space, but that doesn't make the hulking structure any less impressive. First off, it took almost 2,000 years to build. The wall started as a fortification meant to keep out invading clans and took on a life of its own from there. Multiple different Chinese dynasties added to the wall, which means it isn't one long uninterrupted structure, but a series of walls that span over 13,000 miles. The wall is mainly made up of dirt and stone, but there's also a pretty weird ingredient in there, sticky rice. That's right, sticky rice was added to the mortar recipe which helps keep the stones together and has been credited with helping the wall endure for thousands of years. And despite all the time and effort that went into making it, the Great Wall was never particularly great at keeping out invaders. Given the sheer length of the wall, it was almost impossible to guard the whole thing which created weak spots for invading enemies. So in reality, the Great Wall has been more effective as a tourist trap than it ever was as an enemy trap. Number three. Silk. The Chinese have been making silk for over 5,000 years and fiercely guarded the secret of making it for most of that time. In fact, they were so intent on keeping it a secret that anyone caught smuggling silkworm eggs or cocoons out of the country was put to death. Jeez. According to Chinese legend, silk was discovered in 3000 BC by the wife of Emperor Huangdi when a silkworm cocoon accidentally dropped into her hot tea. Instead of being totally grossed out like I would be, she noticed that fine threads from the cocoon unraveled in the hot water. And while that particular story might be a little bit more legend than fact, before long, silk was the hottest luxury fabric in the world. Demand for the comfortable fabric eventually created an over 6,000 mile long trade route known as the Silk Road that stretched all the way from eastern China to the Mediterranean Sea. This also helped create some of the first real cultural connections between China and other civilizations in India, Arabia, Persia, and the Mediterranean. So if you want to invent the next great technology, just start throwing stuff into pots of tea. What's the worst that could happen? Number two, the Chinese emperor Pu Yi became the ruler when he was only two years old. He was the 12th ruler of the Qing Dynasty and the very last emperor of China after having one for over 5,000 years. Pu Yi screamed and resisted when officials tried to pick him up and bring him to the Forbidden City. And during his coronation ceremony, the emperor was carried to the throne by his father. The little tyke was so frightened by the pageantry and loud ceremonial drums that he started crying. Oh, poor guy. Pu Yi's wet nurse, Wen Chao Wang, was the only one who could console the toddler emperor and was allowed to accompany Pu Yi to the Forbidden City. They developed a special bond, and Pu Yi said later in life that she was the only person who could control him. That's right. Right, even the Emperor of China has to behave when he's with the babysitter. And finally, our number one fact about ancient China, the ancient Chinese invented a ton of stuff. 
arguably the most important and widespread inventions known as the four great inventions were paper, printing, gunpowder, and the compass. But that's just the basics. Fireworks, the crossbow, soccer, paper money, incense, the toothbrush, cast iron, dominoes, no, the other dominoes, there we are, nail polish, fishing reels, the horse collar, kite, paper cup, playing cards, porcelain, puppet theater, restaurant menus, teapots, toilet paper, wrapping paper, mechanical clocks, earthquake detection, and even ice cream were all invented by the ancient Chinese. So the next time you light fireworks while eating ice cream and flying a kite on top of a horse in the middle of an earthquake, you can thank the ancient Chinese. And of course, we can't talk about ancient China without mentioning the greatest kung fu master of all time, the dragon warrior himself, Po. Watch Po face his biggest challenge yet in DreamWorks Animation's Kung Fu Panda 3 in theaters everywhere, January 29th. Perfect. Really? No. Again. <laughs> And remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for everything you need to consider yourself a Kung Fu Panda super fan. I'm your host, and I can't decide if I want to go master my Kung Fu skills or eat a whole plate of dumplings. Hmm, what would Poe do? Oh, maybe I'll split the difference and go see Kung Fu Panda 3. Popcorn's like dumplings, right? <laughs>